Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a series of videos about simulating different types of geotechnical applications by finite element method using Plaxis 3D program. The tutorials which are going to be explained are taken from Plaxis manual version Plaxis Connect Edition V200019 and the total number of tutorials is 9 as you see which are listed in here the first one is foundation on over consolidation clay and this tutorial has three cases which are rigid foundation raft foundation and pile foundation and other tutorials are excavation in sand loading of section pile construction of road embankment and so on the first tutorial which are going to be explained uh, now is first one and case air which is foundation on over consolidation clay for rigid foundation as we see in here i prepared this plan by autocad the foundation of the building is mat foundation 36 meter by 36 and the swill geometry is 150 meter by 150 and uh, this one shows a side view of the problem the height of the soil is 40 meter and uh, the water table is located 2 meters below the soil ground because of axis symmetry in this tutorial we are going to model one quarter of the problem like that We are just going to model this part in the plexus and uh, this is just because our problem is axis symmetry and uh, to decrease the time for running the simulation we are going just to make one quarter of the model. So we are going to simulate 75 meter by 75 and the foundation will become 18 meter by 18 just like that also in this tutorial we are going to make some assumption uh, first one in this case the building is assumed to be very rigid very stiff and the basement is simulated using of non-porous linear elastic volume element also in this case it assumes that the total weight of the basement equals the total dead load and live load of the building it means that the total weight of the building has been divided by the volume of the basement also this is a very simple model approach and easy to use but also it has some disadvantage like it does not like it does not mention about any structural load in the foundation the materials for soil and uh, building or basement we talked from plexus uh, tutorials and we are going to use this material properties in plexus okay we go to plexus and make a new project we type tutorial one case A as I explained we are just going to make one quarter of the model so the sweet geometry will be 75 by 75 meters ok 
Okay, then we create a borehole. We can create the borehole in anywhere. I'm going to create in here. Add one layer of the soil. The depth of the soil layer is 40 meter. So minus 40. And the water head is located two meters below the ground. I'm going to define the material for the soil. I select soil and interface new clay and in this tutorial we are going to use more column and drain condition. The unsaturated unit weight is 70 and saturated unit weight is 18. 17 18 Elasticity one to power one times ten to power four and poison ratio is point three cohesion is ten and friction angle is thirty. For K zero determination lateral earth pressure coefficient, we use automatic, which is equal zero point five. Okay, and I assign the material to the borehole. Okay, okay. Now we finished our soil geometry and we assigned the material to the borehole after that we I go to structure stage to make basement I go to the top view and make the z value to zero create a surface from zero eighteen eighteen eight okay then I select the surface and extrude minus two meter in the z direction and delete the surface this is going to be our basement and we will use the different material for this element I'm going to make a new material again new which is called building or any other name So for this building material we are going to use linear elastic and non-porous drainage. The unit weight as we said the unit weight of this uh, element is equal to the total weight of the building divided by the volume of the basement which is equal to 50 kN per cubic meter. the parameters equal 3 times 10 to power 7 poison ratio is 0.15 ok and I assign this material to this element ok now we finished the materials to the 
basement and after that we go to mesh stage and we can refine the mesh for this part to get a better result we can make it 0.5 and go to mesh create mesh I'm going to use medium mesh in this exercise okay then we go to staged construction we have initial phase and also we will need another phase which is for constructing a building or basement so in in the initial phase we are going to use k zero procedure because our problem is horizontal we're not going to use uh, gravity or any other one also for the building also we're going to use plastic calculation type okay so in the initial phase all the all the elements should be the swill material for so for the building phase we are going to we are going to activate the basement and use change the material from clay to building okay now our problem is ready and we start calculation this warning tells me that no node and stress point selected for case because in this example I'm not going to make any curve between stress or strain or low settlement curve that's why I will not select any node and I ignore feedback and calculate Now the calculation is finished. I can go to result. This shows the deformation of the soil geometry. And if I want to see the maximum displacement in this example, I go to deformation, total displacement. Okay, as I see, the total settlement is equal to 120 millimeters. This shows the contours of the settlement, or also we can see the vectors. Okay, our tutorial is finished. Thank you for watching, and do not forget to uh, like and share and subscribe to my channel.